Jeremy Corbyn back in Reading, now with big ambitions for the town. The Labour leader was here eight days before the election. The question then was if he could keep the few Labour seats in the south. How things have changed. Today he was joined by the new Reading East MP, one of the many surprise Labour victories. Mr Corbyn is targeting Reading West with a slim Conservative majority in preparation for another election. He visited the Launchpad homeless charity in the town, launching his own housing policy. There is a huge problem that uh, private sector developments are unaffordable for local people, unaffordable for people in housing need, in some cases are bought off plan and kept empty in order just to cash in on the capital value rise that happens with rising house prices. We have to empower local authorities to ensure that a proportion of all new developments are genuinely affordable. The Thames Valley is one of the most expensive areas in the UK. Oxford and Winchester are in the top 10 most unaffordable, so housing is an issue that matters, as does student loans and debts. Reading East, like many of the constituencies you won in the election, has a large student population. But what do you have to say to those who feel betrayed that you're not planning to get rid of pre-existing student debt? I made it very clear during the election campaign we would end student fees, college fees and bring back educational maintenance allowance. I also said I was well aware of the huge debts that Tories and Liberal Democrats have imposed on the former student population and are now imposing on the current student population and that I would want to see a way forward to ameliorate and reduce that debt. We're looking at ways of achieving that. There are no imminent plans for another election. In theory, it's five years away. But it's clear Mr Corbyn thinks we may be back to the polling booth far sooner than that. And he has Reading in his sights. Sam Holder, ITV News, Reading.